welcome to the second episode guys and just a quick uh, little announcement we're just going to change the name from film chatter and beers to two beers one movie just think it's a little bit snappier it's a little bit catchier um, and it's shorter um, so basically yeah thanks for for tuning in for watching well, hopefully you do tune in and watch again um, and as I said we are eventually going to film these down the line and um, but for now we're just recording them so today's movie what we're looking at is Andrzej Swiatowski's 1981 psychological horror film Possession so the reason for the review is basically it's probably already seen it's been re-released in 4k in theaters um, it's been on my watch list for for quite a while now a few years um, been told by friends to watch it it's it's quite strange it's quite chilling um, and I did I gave it a watch and so the setup really is it's a uh, it's a film about a collapse of a marriage uh, the film stars Sam Neill as Mark and Isabella Angie as um, as Anna really hope I pronounced that second name correctly uh, so Mark basically returns home from a long business trip and he returns to his wife Anna who has become distant she's acting strangely uh, she doesn't feel like she loves him anymore uh, she doesn't feel herself and um, eventually she does leave him and admits to uh, having an affair so unable to cope with his life Mark becomes severely depressed uh, erratic uh, and then he begs for reconciliation so the fourth act of the film really begins as an end of marriage drama um, but it really does have this eerie and uneasy strange tension building scene upon scene um, and according to, to the director himself like, he uh, he wrote this movie um, while he was uh, going through a separation himself so this probably lends itself to some sort of the the tension and the uh, and the anxiety and the chaoticness of of the scenes between Anna and Mark when they are together in this in the same room often uh, becomes becomes violent at times uneasy to watch given the, the subject matter of separation the violence it's it's not as gory as a lot of other horrors but when it needs to be nasty it can be nasty um there is some scenes of self-harm which is very distressing to watch um, and it can become unsettling and as the movie itself plays out uh, Mark uh, begins to realize that there's something a little bit more sinister behind just uh, the affair just falling out of love and want to separate and um, and then his his uh, his suspicions are correct Anna has a dark and skin crawling secret that will unsettle viewers and, and leave you feeling psychologically drained. At times the film is hard to watch, uh, not only because of the violence but the atmosphere and the behaviour of Mark and more so Anna will leave you feeling distressed and unsettled and you will think about this film days uh, when days pass. Um, one of the most famous or infamous scenes should I say is, is on having a, a psychotic or a possessive breakdown in, in a subway or a tunnel and this scene really plays out for about three and a half to five minutes long it's really uh, wonderful body acting uh, from Isabella herself and you can see she really throws herself into the role the scene is strange it's hard to watch um, and subsequently uh, this scene was uh, recreated by uh, Rosamund Pike for the music video Voodoo, Blo Voodoo My Blood by Massive Attack so that's a r basically random bit of useless information for you but it's a great track so you maybe you should check it out um, so back to the performances in possession themselves Sam Neill and especially Isabella are fantastic uh, Isabella went on record and said it took her several years to get over the role and would never take on such a role ever again and after watching it you really do understand why um, I'd say it was chaotic for her 
very very disturbing i'd say it took her a very long time to get over this and you can really understand why she would never take uh, on such a role after throwing herself into this it was a lot of physical acting um, rather than just emotional although there is a lot of emotional acting as well it's one of the most physical uh, pieces from two actors I've ever witnessed between Sam um, and Isabella um, and you could tell it would have taken her toll on both of them in terms of the cinematography it's fantastic each scene is shot to give uh, a claustrophobic feel so uh, every room is, is really crammed the camera looks makes you feel like you're in the room with the characters and it's really crammed together and um, you can feel the tension build in in each scene because of this claustrophobic feeling and um, it's shot in berlin and there's lots of shots of the berlin wall this probably uh, or maybe it's just my opinion it probably represents the couple's feeling uh, of being trapped and unable to escape one another so every scene is really chaotic uh, no character is, uh, is on ease or they can stay still or silent for any amount of period of time and because it's in these real enclosed space the the claustrophobic uh, feeling really really ramps up the anxiety and the tension within the movie itself my anxiety levels were rammed up with every scene uh, it was on edge was on edge um, and by the time the movie was over I really was really was happy it finished because um, like it was a roller coaster of emotions um, and it's definitely not a Netflix and chill movie uh, you're not going to sit there with your partner and just chill out this is a movie that you're going to try to uh, take it all in at first and then when it's over you probably won't go back straight away and watch uh, I know I won't I will go back eventually just maybe to get a different perspective down the line not straight away because it is uh, it will leave you psychologically unsettled so what I give for my rating for this probably would be given everything we've taken in probably about three and a half beers out of five so I would recommend it um on another subject yes as i mentioned we will be filming these soon with some of the guys from top floor films we're just trying to get a bit of equipment to together now at the moment um and hopefully soon enough we'll have these live i'm just going to keep doing a couple of these just to just to get them out there and um, so please like and subscribe um give us a give us a comment let us know what you think if there's something we can improve on i think we know what we're trying to improve on anyway but uh yeah hope to hear from you guys next time and uh peace out